Hey everyone, I have another system here that I thought would be a great test platform for some performance testing. This is a slightly older system than my other system. It's a Core i7. Uh, this is going to be really hard to read and I don't think I can enlarge this anyway, but I just wanted you to be able to see this is an 11th generation Core i7. Uh, the motherboard is a Z590 and it has 64 gig of DDR4. The graphics card is a RTX 3060 Ti with 8 gig of RAM. So I was actually going to set this up to test at Stable Diffusion XL. Before I do that though I wanted to run through some performance testing and make sure I had a handle on uh, automatic 1111 performance just kind of get my bearings. So I figured while I do that might as well take a video so that other people can benefit from some of the experimentation that I'm doing here. So how I set this test up, I'm going to use this positive negative prompt in each of the tests. Um, I just have this here so that you can see where I'm getting some of this information from. This is the automatic 1111 GitHub wiki page. There's a lot of great info here. What I'm using are the optimization page and you can see what each of these things is supposed to be doing for us and then I set up a quick script that will just help me more quickly run through different setups so that we don't have to go hand editing my batch file each time I just have this all built into this already so that we can just kinda iterate through all these what I'm gonna do first is run no performance arguments uh, so you can see I am using the argument auto launch just because it makes things easier uh, but nothing other than auto launch and then I'm gonna use just Xformers, med VRAM, low VRAM, med VRAM and Xformers, low VRAM and Xformers and then opt STP attention. Let's get started. I have my batch file here ready to rock and this here we'll just start it with no arguments I'm using the default 1.5 model and this is a freshly installed automatic 1111 it's got all the latest updates as of yesterday and let's put our positive prompt in let's put our negative prompt in and then I think I'm gonna leave the sampler to Euler A sampling steps to 20 is fine I just want to try to make our test as consistent as possible but let's bump the batch count to four just to stress this a little more and then you can see I don't know it might be hard to see but you can see I'm using torch 2.0.1 okay so let's hit it and see how it does And we get a nice summary right here. It might be hard to see. I tried to enlarge it, but we're talking 14 seconds 11. So I'm just making a quick note of that. And you can you can see your uh, iterations per second here. It's just nice to have the total time taken. Okay, so let's shut all this and start again. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close this whole browser so we're not having any weird caching or any other things. Okay, let's try number two, Xformers. Make sure we up this to a batch count of four and hit generate. Let's see what we get. Okay, we did save a little time using Xformers. The previous result was 14 dot 11 this is 12 seconds 25 so that's not bad saved a little bit a little more than 10 percent I guess so let's shut this down and try the next one now we're trying medium VRAM up this to 4 and generate and let's see whoa now interestingly without Xformers the medium VRAM 
added quite a bit of time. So without any arguments, we were at 14 and about a tenth of a second. With the X formers, we we're at 12 and a quarter of a second. And now we're at 1870. So by putting the medium VRAM on a 8 gig 3060 card, it actually added time. So that's a definite no thank you. Now we'll try low VRAM. Well, I can already tell the low VRAM flag is not working very well. This is crawling. It is worthwhile to understand um, you know, when to use these and when not, and it is worthwhile to experiment, which makes me think I should definitely do this on my other system. Okay, wow. One minute, 49.01 seconds. Holy mackerel, that was awful. Onward we go. Let's kill that off. Oh, this little guy's really happy. Having a good time. Test 5, which is going to be medium VRAM and X-formers. 1650. Okay, 1650. Now, that is faster than medium VRAM by itself, not as fast as X-formers by itself. Let's take a look at test six, which is gonna be low VRAM and X warmers, and let's see if that actually helps. I think that's gonna be pitiful. I mean, I think we know what's gonna happen here, right? So, okay, here we are. One minute, 44 seconds, point four three, which was barely an improvement from when we just ran the low VRAM switch by itself. Now, so far, our fastest result was with just the X formers alone. Let's try one more test, which is so far we've tried, I think, the, the memory management, um, medium and low VRAM management switches, which are probably not intended for an RTX 3060 with 8 gig. Now, we're going to try to use a option that's probably not meant for this card for the opposite reason, because it's, it's too low of memory. Uh, which is the SDP attention. That was 1239. How interesting. So with this, we have almost the same performance as using X-formers. You wouldn't use X-formers and, and the SDP attention. So let's just try it for kicks. We're here to experiment, right? It'll take me just a second. I'll add it right under here. Actually, I'll add it above. I'll just save this. So you can see I'm using them both at once. It did load X-formers. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, so there's no there's no performance gain. It was 12 seconds 39 without X-formers, and it's 1240, uh, because I think they're, I think really one kind of replaces the others. What we ended up with was the following. Looks like our fastest time by just a touch is X-formers by itself. Looks like uh, SDP attention very close and then running them both at the same time is pointless. It's worth mentioning if you want to try some of these experiments yourself where do you set this I suppose that would be helpful information so if you did find some of this useful you could try some of this on your own you would navigate to where your stable diffusion web UI folder is and you would want to find web UI dash user dot bat you may not see the .bat extension if depending on how your windows is set up and if you open that you'll see there are some areas where you can changes and so you can add your command line arguments here together you don't have to put a, any other special characters between them you can just string them together on the same line and off you go uh, it, it is worth though experimenting on what works best for your whole system uh, specifically, depending on how it's built, depending on what you typically keep running, and all of that. Part of the experimenting, part of the fun, if you want to get the most performance you can. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. This thing looks like an alien cat eating a watermelon. <laughs>